Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be trying out rice water for the first time ever. I mean, where the f should I really even start? If you don't know me or don't know my channel, my name is Giselle. I'm also known as Think Face Glam and I am suffering from thinning hair, hair loss. I've done a few videos on my hair loss journey and some products that I've tried to help grow my hair. On my previous videos, a lot of people commented that I should try rice water. I've never tried it before and I figured, why the f not? I mean, my hair is already falling out of my head anyway, so I might as well try something that they say can grow my hair. So I made this rice water and I'm going to take you along my journey of actually making this rice water, the process of me applying the rice water, and then you get to see the final results after I rinse it out. So continue watching and follow me on my rice water journey. Before we start, I know people are going to read me because my hair is greasy as f and I did that for a reason. One, because I am lazy. That's the real reason. And two, because I wanted to see if the rice water would actually clean it. I know that other videos say it doesn't, but I just want to do it for and giggles. You will need rice and a citrus fruit. Sticky rice is best, I couldn't find any, so I used white rice. A pomelo is best, but I couldn't find that either, so I went with the next best thing, a grapefruit. You will need one cup of rice. Pour the rice into a bowl. Then you want to run some water into the bowl and quickly rinse off the rice. This is to remove any dirt or other stuff that may have been on the rice before they packaged it. Pour four cups of water into the bowl of rice. Then you want to really clean the rice. This means scrubbing it in between your hands, massaging it in the water. You want to really get in there. Do this for a few minutes. The next step is peeling the entire citrus fruit. Then you want to drain the rice and pour the water into a pot. You can keep the remaining rice and cook it for later. Put the pot on the stove and turn the heat on medium high. Add the citrus fruit peel to the pot. Allow the water to boil for about 10 to 15 minutes. Pour the water into a mason jar. Yes, I did spill some while pouring. Don't forget to add the citrus fruit peel to the mason jar. Seal the mason jar and store away. I let it ferment for 16 days in my cupboard. This is what my hair looks like before I apply the rice water. Pour the rice water into a bowl. You want to wash your hair upside down. It can be a bit difficult, but totally worth it according to a few YouTubers I watched. I made sure to massage my scalp really well. I also made sure that my hair was completely saturated with the rice water. I clipped my hair up and put a cap on. I let the rice water sit for 30 minutes. After the 30 minutes was up, I got in the shower and rinsed my hair out. I did not want to leave any excess product in my hair. Once I got out the shower, I detangled my hair using a white tooth comb. Hi again so it's been a few hours and my hair is fully dried I have some thoughts on the rice water process and the rice water experience the way my hair feels all that jazz making it isn't a huge problem it is a bit time consuming but just doing it once a month really isn't that big of a deal I think if I was doing this every week it would be kind of annoying as far as applying it it is a bit strange keeping my head in that position for a long time my back was hurting honestly I feel like if I was kneeling or maybe just in a different position I would have been a little bit more comfortable I will say that the rice water did not smell bad especially being in there for two weeks I didn't put any essential oils in it smelled citrusy it did not smell bad at all it smelled really good rinsing it out was pretty easy I made sure to thoroughly rinse my hair out because I did see some videos where they said that if you don't you can experience protein overload which can cause your hair to be brittle and I don't need that in my life I definitely made sure to rinse really really well one of the things that I noticed immediately about my hair is that it looked and felt thicker normally when I wash my hair and I come out of the shower my hair feels really stringy and just thin and this this time it just felt and looked thick I was kind of blown away it definitely did not help with the greasiness of my hair so I will have to wash my hair again probably tomorrow honestly because my hair is really greasy right now my hair feels so so soft it feels thick the natural curls of my hair are coming out in their full glory I am gonna show you a side-by-side -side of my hair before I use the rice water and after and I don't know if you can see in the video but it definitely feels thicker I'm really 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 digging the way my hair feels right now to prevent protein overload and to keep on with this journey and see if rice water will actually help grow my hair I will be only doing this once a month I want to make sure that my hair has the opportunity to get used to this kind of thing because I know it's a lot of protein and I don't want my hair to get stressed out but I will say I really do love the way my hair feels I love the way it smells because it 
smells like citrus. So that is my first time ever using rice water. I will be using rice water once a month for the next three months. So if you guys want to see an update after the three month period, please let me know with a comment down below or by liking this video. If you have any other hair suggestions on what I can do to help grow my hair or to help lessen the thinning of it, please let me know in the comments below too because your girl needs all the help she can get right now. I honestly appreciate every single one of you that has commented on my other previous videos with tips and tricks and also just letting me know your experience with your hair loss journey. I said this before but I'll say it again. I'm so grateful for every single one of you that has recommended things to me, that has left me beautiful comments. It makes me feel less alone. It makes me feel less self-conscious. I don't want to get all emotional on camera because that's it's too much but I just want to thank you all from literally the bottom of my heart for being with me here and for holding my hand throughout this whole thing. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please be sure to follow me on my social media handles. I will leave them somewhere on the screen. I will also leave any of my previous hair videos in cards throughout this video as well as down in the description box below so you can watch those again from the bottom of my heart. Thank you all so much for watching this video, for watching any of my videos and I will see you all on the next one. Bye.